Welcome back to the channel. Now this is my Land Rover Defender and that is the Oztrail Rooftop 10. We are throwing it on the top of the Defender today. So let's get straight into it. So this is new from Oztrail. This is a hard shell rooftop tent, and this is a Canning 1300. So it's a new part of their uh, lineup that they've got out. Couple of rooftop tents, new awnings, new swags, whole heap of new gear. They've sent this over for us to have a pretty good look over, um, and hopefully, really test it. All right, so the tent comes with a little bag. And in that, you'll find everything you should need to mount this tent. Now these are steel brackets with a rubber coating which protects your roof rack. I'm not going to use these because it's not quite big enough for the front runner slat. Um, I mean, it would fit, but it won't, wouldn't fit in here where it's kind of designed to fit. So I've got some other from a different rooftop tent. I'll use those. And we also have these little brackets, so it looks like these will slot in to the rails that are on the bottom of the tent, drop it down, and then use these to clamp it to your rack or load bars, whatever you might have. Owner's manual, I've had a quick look through that. Pretty straightforward. Let's get into it. Mounting bolts into your rail. Four on this side, four on that side. You can see I've positioned them into the gaps so I can lower the tent. They will fall between the gaps of the slat. And then we can slide them together and put our brackets on underneath. But those little yellow things, they look like they are just there to prevent, I don't know, maybe to stop muck getting in the ends, bugs, whatever and also probably to stop these from coming out should one come loose or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and press all of these on and then we can lower the tent down. All right, well, this has made it a lot easier having a couple of hoists up there on the roof. If you don't have that, you're probably gonna need four people, uh, particularly on a tall vehicle. But um, that made it quite easy. So now we need to get it central. What's supplied with the tent. So as you can see, if they are under there, I mean, it will work. That's not a problem. Particularly with that grippy edge on it, that's quite nice. Um, you could maybe flip it. Either way. I have these from a different tent that I've just had sitting around in the shed. So they'll just sit flush under it. Actually, it would be nice to have that rubber coating because there is a, that metal on metal is pretty slippery. Um, so let's mount these under the slats. So four of these. Now, there was two tools that came with the tent. One was a 13 mil spanner. I'd recommend not using it because you're gonna want a ratcheting spanner. Um, that'd be a nightmare with the open ender. Um, also, this Allen key, which makes me think that these load bars or the roof rack on top of the tent, I reckon they're installed under the um, mounting bracket just for transport, just so it packs a little bit lower. So I reckon I need to swap those to above it. But, not certain, not gonna do it yet, probably not gonna use the mounting bars. The only reason for that is the Defender is already about six meters tall. 
putting a rooftop tent on it makes it seven meters tall. I don't want to add something else on top of that to make it eight meters tall. And it turns out at full extension, perfect height on the defender. So if you've got a defender, you're good. I can't imagine there'd be too many vehicles that this tent's going on that's gonna be taller than this thing. Um, if, they are, if there are, I feel sorry for you, because this is a nightmare. Anyway, anything shorter, obviously the ladder is um, telescopic. Now, why is it nicer? Check out these rungs. They are actually on a slight angle and they're not sharp as hell, which means barefoot, that's gonna be actually really nice. That's a really nice ladder, actually, as far as ladders go. hinge design here. So you got a gas strut that lifts it up. Um, storage up top. Looks like a yeah a clear one. So you put an iPad in there, watch movies. Movies not included. This mattress is actually really comfortable. It's not very thick. But it's very memory foamy, like a like one of those thick pillows. Not many tents have a window up this front as well, and you can fully open it. That's cool. So under the 50 mil mattress, there is what looks like a 10 mil anti-condensation or breathable layer, which is nice. The ladder is not going to mount on these ladder mounts. I mean, it's okay. You can hook it into the front runner rack. Nowhere near as secure. Um, the only other option I'm thinking would be either mount at the back and use the ladder or the access at the back or move the tent to one side. But I hate having something like a rooftop tent on my vehicle and it not central. So for me that's not an option. Um, <clears throat> inside here Looks like we've got, obviously, block out and mesh. Now this canvas, well this material actually looks very dark. Oops. Mm. This is actually very dark. Let's turn the light off. Wow. Shit, you'd, uh, you'd cook, I reckon. <coughs> Leaving it like that for too long. So, big windows on three sides, 
access from any of them as far as the ladder goes and the front even has a window as well Here's a nice little treat so there she is it's a nice tent and this mattress mattress is good mattress is very good I'd say it one of the best I've actually laid on first impressions Now I'm 661. Mm. Yep, that'll do me. LED light. So you just need a power pack or run run power to the roof. And it looks like you'd have lighting up here. It actually looks just quickly. So I've measured the mattress. So it is a 1300 wide tent. Um, and how? Let me just have a look here. Dimensions, internal, so it's 2.05 meters long, 1.2 meters wide. So yeah, the mattress is 1.2. It's a 50 mil memory foam mattress, so the mattress feels very good. For me, 1.2 meters wide is really borderline, not a two person tent. We'll wait and see till we get two people up there. Well, I mean, for a night or two, that wouldn't be a problem, but if you were using this regularly, I think you'd want a slightly wider mattress than 1.2. Anyway, time will tell. So the canvas seems very thick. Like, well, not thick, but it's quite like a block out canvas. Um, it'll be interesting to see in the sun with everything zipped up inside. I think that's going to stop a lot of light getting in, which is good if you like to sleep in, which I don't, so I'm not too bothered. Canvas does feel a little bit loose uh, in areas, which means wind is going to make Trying to sleep in a windy night is going to be a nightmare. Uh, what else? Ladder seems very good. Um, one of the better ladders that I've seen. Build quality seems very good. It's 95 kilos, so it is heavy. You can remove the rack system and the brackets. And I believe that'll save you 10 kilos. So that could bring it down to 85 kilos, which then would bring it to probably one of the lighter... Um, tents in this category, I'd say. Um, still not as light as the James Baroud that I have um, been using for a while. That's 60 or 70, um, but that's a different category of tent. Um, so 95 kilos is right on par with everything in this, uh, this category. There are super light ones. Um, they're a bit cheaper. They are maybe not... They're slimmer as well, but I don't think you can store anything in them when closed. I'm expecting to be able to store all my bedding in this. If I can't, I'll be very pissed off. It looks good. It does look good. So we'll get out there and test it sometime soon. But that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.